do you have bits and pieces that are still in excellent condition this could be fashion items it could be homeware or it could be books whatever you think people would get value from and you don't mind selling would you want to learn how to get the best deals from buying on ebay if your answer to any of these questions is yes then sit back relax and enjoy i'm going to tell you how to sell on ebay how to buy on ebay getting good deals and good prices on ebay and the last thing with my ebay haul i'll put timestamps of where the whole start just in case that's the only thing you're interested in hi guys my name is stephanie and we're content creator based in london welcome back if this is not your first time here i love you and appreciate you so much if this is your first time feel at home click the subscribe button the bell right beside it and get ready to drop a comment in fact click the thumb up button right now as well on today's episode we're going to be talking ebay so basic selling on ebay because to be honest ebay is a marketplace and there are so many kinds of stores or sellers on ebay we have the basic one which we're going to be talking about we have the starter premium anchor enterprises these are bigger versions of ebay but so i'm going to start with selling and then i'll later talk about buying because selling obviously brings more coins to you. ebay charges fees as well that's one thing i want you to know they charge um, a certain amount of fees now they split the fees between them and paypal so if you calculate about 10 percent of whatever you're selling something that's basically good the fees they're going to charge you i'm going to put a link to an ebay fee calculator where you put your price the postage price you charge the postage price the post office actually charged you and the price you bought it the price you're selling it and it will tell you what your fees will be so selling the first thing you do is research so you go on ebay and search for that book see how much other people are selling it in the same with the one in the same condition as yours or you can even go a bit higher with the conditions just to scale properly so once you find the price people are selling you are now no put a price into your head obviously think about how much you bought it how much value is adding to you right now to be honest that's actually the value of the book the amount of value is adding to you right now not even how much you bought it but how much you bought it is also good to consider another thing is how to sell it do you want to do bid or do you want to do auction i'll tell you advantages of those two later next thing you consider is your title you're basically just optimizing how people are going to find your products so you go and see how other people listed theirs and try as much as possible to list yours with plenty words that relate him to it. Okay, let's say you're listing this dress basically. It's a Zara animal print. You can also write leopard print, size, whatever, medium, midi dress with layers. Like you can just imagine someone who's coming to look for this dress, what the person will search. That's just how to think about it. But then again, you know people are different. So someone can be coming to search for this dress, you'll just write midi brown dress. Another person will write animal print. So it just depends on what, just imagine what someone will be looking for that is related to your dress and put it in the, in the title so that when they search, eBay can deliver your product to them. So your title is so important. After your title, the next thing is your description. Your description just kind of explains the item more because sometimes you can put an item now let's say you put a pair of slippers and then there's like a mark at the side on that description you explain little mark unnoticeable due to maybe paint in the house or due to it's being packed from one house to one house smoke free house just little things that would also endear the person then you can also write at the end of the description feel free to ask me for more pictures Feel free to look at my other items. Feel free to make beads. You know, I'm, 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 I respond very quickly. Just something like that to make the person know more about the product and be just feel you're actually a very honest person. Because it's all about perception. Next important thing is photography. As we all know, photographs are what the person is going to imagine is going to be in their house. So you can't go and be taking unnecessary dull, dark. Go to light. So just go out where there's light. Put your product snap it if it's a pair of shoes let's say for instance this is my pair of slides so you snap area of view snap this angle snap the front snap the side ebay gives you an option of 12 pictures snap here snap here turn the back snap it just so that the person would just have a feel of what is coming to their house if it's a bit dirty and stuff and it's something you can quickly clean up without destroying the item clean it up let it just look pretty you know then you describe it if there's any stains then you'll be like ah there's a little stain on the ebook it's not noticeable when it comes to ebay pictures editing is not really what you should be doing the highest thing you should put on editing is sharpness and exposure which is adding a bit of um, contrast to this or sharpening whatever just make it a pristine picture and then lights in just so they can see the real colors of the item and then all the parts of the item and then imagine the item way better than when you've given them just like pictures use your 12 pictures if you can 
do that sometimes you can't be taken to a picture because there's nothing else to show but you possible zoom into it you know just do different things and the person we just know that yes this is a serious seller and yes yeah, someone they could trust ebay has two options they have the auction option or they have the buy now option buy now option you can put the two but they will charge you a fee of like 0 0.5 but if you just choose one of those options they won't charge you anything until the person pays um auction is I think it's just five days, the seven days, the seven days. Like, I really don't like auction. I love the buy it now. The only time I'll do an auction is for like maybe a crop top or just one very annoying item that whatever you guys should just rush and try and buy it. But then again, auctions with things like this Zara dress now. I bought this on eBay. They leave it to that so on the seventh day. You see people who want to, you know, buy, you know, quickly try to get everybody now just fighting on that last 10 minutes and stuff. So that's the good thing about auction. Sometimes you don't know if your product is valuable. You should probably auction it if you feel like but i really don't like auction but then yeah you people can fight for that product and get it and that can be auction is putting it at the right time if you go and put your auction to let's say tuesday afternoon and it's seven days the seven day will be monday afternoon most people are at work on monday afternoon where you live you get so that doesn't really make sense people like to put their auctions on a sunday so that it's lead into the next sunday where Sunday is a very good time for eBay. On Saturday like this, I go like in the morning, I'll just reduce some of my prices where I see there's watchers. eBay also gives you the option to send people up. As I say, something is 25 pounds and there's like 33 watchers or two watchers go. So even one watcher, eBay will tell you, you can send an offer to this person. So you can just send a person an offer. Of, yeah, I think it lasts for 20, 48 hours and say, okay, yes, this thing is 27 pounds. You can buy it for 17 pounds today maybe you really need the money and stuff here yeah. so you can do things like that as well oh my gosh customer service is so important on ebay so i can buy something for you and they would you post it they get it they message you that come ah i saw something on the you guys don't be angry even if the thing was in there just oh my god i'm so first of all reply quickly oh my gosh i'm so sorry for that it must have been the packaging how did it come it must have been do you think it's something you can manage you know just be so poor like no matter how the person comes at you because guys once you start having ebay returns and it is that wholesale is a mess up you might even lose from it because they might not post it to you but you have to accept that to be in good standing with ebay you have to accept do the refund you know so just be polite with your customer service for an example with the calculator so for instance now um, the calculator let's say you sell an item for 10 pounds so the shipping cost was actually three pounds but i put it for four then item how much did i buy that item what's the value of the item to me Let's say it was five pounds and it's a basic shop. My profit is going to be four pounds at the end because eBay fee is going to be 1.12 pounds. PayPal fee will be 0 0.71 pounds. I'll put it in the description so you put figures there and see if something is worth it or it's not because you still have to get to that post office. How are you getting to the post office? Are you going to take transport to that post office? Are you going to walk there? I can walk to my post office, which is very good, but you should check those things before you set your prices. If a buyer, one of your buyers wants to return an item and the reason is that it's something you did not say in the description or it's faulty or something that is your fault, basically, you will have to accept the return. You probably have to pay the shipping and everything. And these days, PayPal, they don't even give you let's say someone mistakenly buys something and you want to cancel it paypal is not going to give you the full fee they charge in fact they, i don't think they give fees anymore they recently changed that rule in may a month ago they don't give fees back so just be careful with all your transactions on there so guys that's it let's now talk about buying on ebay so buying on ebay is something i do so often in fact the last bit of this video is going to be an ebay haul which is the recent items i bought i actually tried them on so it's going to be on the screen and everything the first thing i do i just go write what i'm looking for for instance i was looking for this i'm not a seller that's going to start overwriting i'll just write general zara midi dress which was what i wrote and then i'll see and decide zara midi dress uk 12 or zara midi dress 12 or Zara midi dress size 12 just based on what I'm looking for I'll put it there and then start looking so I'm looking obviously Zara so you're not going to see all those Chinese sellers everywhere there are some people who literally wait for Zara and Topshop to go up season then they get those items and sell for some reason and I just really love to buy from there for some reason I don't know myself okay there are some people that don't do buy it now because me I really love buy it now when I'm buying and when I'm selling but some people love a bead and there are some amazing items that are on that big thing so i never go to put a bid i just sit down click watching the item sometimes you put watching the item just so that when the, cost, the seller wants to offer discounts you get an email for the discount but if you're not watching it you wouldn't know about a discount when ebay lets you 
offer discount they only let you offer it to people who are watching your, your item so that's another reason to watch an item instead of just quickly going to bid because you going to bid is just you fighting with some people who are you know just waiting for you to come so it's better you leave it like that so like the way i bought most of these dresses that were on bid i just sat down when it's now like a day or 14 minutes or something ebay will always tell you or if you really like an item you'll be looking at it every day to even catch it or something you can just go on your ebay look at items you're watching and see when they're about to end if it has like let's say two hours about to end i sometimes i put an alarm on my phone just so that i can monitor it properly without actually going to bed and then i win most of the bids i want to be honest because i wait till like five seconds by ten seconds i already click like i want to be put the amount i think should be the highest that anyone is going to put there and then once it's five seconds i say confirm bid confirm bid i'm usually i'm the highest bidder and i pay the amount the person before me put so you're not even paying the amount you put you're paying the amount the person before you just be strategic about just know like what's the maximum i'm spending on this thing let's say the maximum maximum you want to spend is 35 pounds and then under your still the bid is still 25 trust me some people are sitting down there waiting for five seconds so they will put like 30 or something so just imagine okay yes 35 pounds is the amount i can pay higher so you just put 35.7 something like that and yeah it's, put it five seconds or four seconds if your internet is good five seconds or four seconds and you most likely win the bid that's it really monitoring your bids and then watching items and just deciding every day sometimes sleep on it so you see if the next day you're actually still in the mood because sometimes you go on ebay and you're just feeling like buying the necessary things and the good thing about ebay is that you see things that are sold out you see designer stuff sometimes these items are used that's where it benefits you as a seller if you want to sell your used goods in your wardrobe or if you're someone who for example goes to a thrift store charity shop so you don't mind you can also buy used excellent items or if something you really really need really 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 need yeah you can get that another thing as a buyer is to um look at people's feedback so you're trying to buy from a seller just go to their feedback and just see what the past people have said to be honest most people never comment like the good feedback some people do but a lot of really angry people come back to give a negative feedback so if the seller is not a good one you definitely see negative feedback That's it. so we've talked selling we've talked buying the next thing we're going to talk about is the ones i have bought already so recently i told you guys i've gone to ebay to buy stuff first of all this zara dress I wanted a midi dress i searched for it found this i think i won the bid i can't remember if i won it or i did buy it now for this one and then it got delivered quickly next item was this uh, midi dress as well as i told you guys i really wanted to stock up on midi dresses so i got this um it's a top shop long sleeve dress these days i've started trying to wear 12 to be honest go be that's taking me out of 10 especially with shops like zara and top shop so you should also know your sizes in shop because some shops are really really different i give you an ordering um let's say oasis warehouse karen millen and you wear a 12 just go for a 14 in those places you just add a size up because they really size down their things so this is the top shop dress and then this pair of pants so this was the reason i returned the white pants i got from tk max and the previous haul because i had gotten this in the off-white which is down here i'm just showing you that as well and then guys i love the way this fit me so much i actually tried this on and you're going to see it when you're seeing my try-ons yeah i tried this on it was just beautiful and i now went back to the seller the pants i'd like to get another one would you give me a deal and then she was like yeah we'll give you 10 percent off if you for whatever else you buy i was like okay cool so i got this and then i think the next day or two I got the refund of 10% back. I haven't tried this one on. Reason being, I'm going to return it. So this came as a skirt and then it had some threads here. I immediately messaged the seller that come, I can see some threads here. And then the seller just said something like, well, it reflects in the price or something like that. I was like, oh, we're being rude, right? I just went to return it. So I'm going to get my money back and then the seller is also going to pay for the postage because my reason was that the item was faulty. And trust me guys, if the, if the seller had said something like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, just said something decent. I said I would have kept it because I didn't want to keep it. I was just like, I can't be wearing something sold by a real person so yeah when i get the money back and i get in the mood i'll go and return it one of the sarah hauls i put on the video this dress was actually there that day but i wasn't certain oh sorry it was expensive i think it was like 59.99 or 49.99 or something like that but i liked the way it looks and then guys what i saw this thing on ebay when i wrote zara midi dress 12 i saw this piece there and then i can't remember how much i got but i'll put it on the screen or i'll put my purchase receipt on the screen for you so you see it comes with the tags and like zara and topshop a lot of people like to stock their stuff getting maybe for no price once it goes off season or something i don't know but i know there are lots of girls who sell zara shoes and zara dresses that are still very new and all so yeah i got this and i'm so excited about this this is another item i got from ebay this one was quite big i just wanted to get some skirts so that when work resumes i'll have like 
um, option so this is a gap skirt it's got a split on but i got it in a large and i think it's a bit too big for me this is another piece i got i think this is new look and this was new as well and last but not the least in the clothing department is this um zara skirt you can see it's brand new again this one fits me so nicely it's pleated slash non-pleated and it's a wrap skirt so it's really really beautiful and i love the way it looks oh my gosh i got three pairs of shoes guys the idea let me just quickly get them because i got this pair from ebay as well it's a zara pair you can see it's brand new this thing was sitting in my basket one time in zara and then when i came back to the basket it was already good it was already sold out it, they had it in 39 and stuff but i'm 41 so i had to quickly find it so once i found it on ebay i kept it i was just watching it for a minute and then yeah when they see it's still brand new the zara sellers don't play on ebay they always still sell the new stuff so i just checked the seller's website and sorry seller's other items an item scroll down a bit you see show more when it comes to the seller then you see sellers other items contact seller so when you click sellers other items you see the other items the seller has so the seller also have this pair of photo well usually when i see shoes in a piece and i like it like this one pair of shoes i'm like oh this person probably has more 41s and i go check so i saw this pair as well and i messaged the seller that okay i want to buy two um, items from me and she's like yeah i'll do one postage price so instead of paying postage twice she matched them together did a new listing and i bought them these shoes are brand new and i'm just excited for them because i've sold a lot of my shoes from last summer on ebay so i just it's lovely to always replace them one thing i know i'm looking for is shoes with various prints like stripes or something just two different colors because i have a lot of monotone shoes and then last but not the least was this one i really really wanted this obviously you know these are drips i really really wanted this pair of slippers in blue i kept searching top shop there was one i was in a top shop but it wasn't exactly like this it was kind of different see the sole of this pair guys it is so beautiful i just want you to see it you get so you're not falling anywhere in this like it's just so pretty look at the front yeah it's just such a beautiful pair and i'm excited i have them because they're padded comfortable fitzy sturdy i'm going to show you a little clip of me wearing most of these items obviously i didn't wear this one again so just imagine it in red when you see me in off-white to gather some information regarding selling buying and finding deals on ebay please click the like button drop a comment because i love to read from you if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time i post see you on the next episode Bye bye